Doing robotics was always my dream and finding a way to bring robots really to people, not just you know in factories and things like that. That's always been something I've been really passionate about. Using the robots, we want to enable a new type of experience. We want to take the physical distance away from people. Right now, we're building a personal consumer robot that allow remote user to dial in, control the robot, move around in the home, and interact and communicate with local people. The first prototype is to allow us to connect back home easily so that families can come closer again. This is why we started our pilot programs with companies like home care assistant or independent living facilities so that care provider and family can use the robot to provide the support and companionship for a happier and healthier life. We find that users call much more frequently and they stay in the call longer. One of the things we really paid attention to in making this robot was actually how do you enhance the feeling of presence. Our solution was to allow the neck to move up and down. You know, basically it boils down to the ability to add nonverbal communication to the product. And it's so subtle that you can really tell where the robot is looking. And that ability, you feel like, makes it a lot more human, makes it a lot more engaging. So Fusion 360, we've been using from the very beginning. And we found that's kind of the no-brainer choice for any hardware startup. It really has the right sort of semantic structure and user experience that makes a lot of the overhead when you're thinking about how to version your files or how to share them. It just takes that all away so you can be productive day one. It's just an amazing combination of like price, performance, and features. So we designed and built everything that goes into our robot right here in the U.S. in Silicon Valley. And when we started this, we did a lot of cost modeling. And for a robot of our size, we actually save about a million dollars over doing it through injection molding, even in China. We're able to print a whole bot in basically less than a day. And I think that allows us to iterate extremely quickly. We can have new designs for a part, or if there's any change that needs to be made, we can kick it off and we'll have like a, a new set by, by the end of the day. So our design to manufacturing process on the mechanical side starts around Fusion 360. We have these scripts we've written that gets exported in three ways. So we get, uh, you know, water jet cut aluminum uh, files that come out of that. We get files for 3D printing and we get the inventory and bomb information that goes to our assembly team to order all the parts. This is important to be able to personalize your robot because we feel that every consumer out there has his own preference, has his own taste. They can feel that the robot is made for them. And this is extremely important in the home environment where you are buying something for an emotional connection to it. Our hope is that with this platform, we can make robots become more mainstream and appear in every home uh, to make a difference for everyone.